Hello again. So we're going to continue from where we left off, which is where my brother came and very thoughtfully um, drew bottom for us, okay? And um, Puck is going to do something. Well, I think he already did. He Okay, so he gave bottom a donkey's head, okay? Um, so I guess Puck has magic abilities of some kind. Uh, he's a sprite, so maybe they're magical, like fairies? I'm really not sure. But I guess he gave donkey a... He gave donkey. He gave bottom a donkey's head. Okay? When the donkey-headed weaver made his next stage entrance, the other men shouted in alarm, Oh, monstrous! Oh, strange! We are haunted! The terrified men scattered, so they all ran away because bottom just came on stage with a donkey's head and everyone's freaking out. Puck barreled after them, intent on a good chase. So Puck is running after the men who just ran away, probably to do some more mischief. Unaware of his transformation, so Bottom doesn't know that he's a donkey's head, Bottom decided his friends were playing a joke on him. This is to me an ass, this, what? This is to make an ass of me, he said, to fright me if they could. So he's saying, literally he's saying they're trying to make fun of him and to, to trick him. But he also just called himself an ass, which, if you remember, is another word for donkey. Um, it is an unkind word if you use it against someone, right? Um, to name call, but in this case it just means donkey, which is literally what he turned into. Um, in defiance, Bottom started singing loudly to prove he wasn't afraid. His dreadful braying woke the fairy queen, so he's not a very good singer. When Titania laid eyes on Bottom, the enchanted flower juice worked its magic. Oh no, oh no. What angel wakes me from my flowery bed, Titania exclaimed. She appeared before Bottom. I pray thee, gentle mortal, sing. Mine ear is much enamored of thy note. So she is saying, oh please, Please, Bottom, sing. Your voice is so beautiful. So now, who's in law? Oh, man, I'm going to have to draw a huge arrow. I did not think this through, you guys. So, Titania is now ooh, totally in love with Bottom because of that uh, little magic, flower magic. Okay. Um, Titania tenderly caressed Bottom's long furry jaw, so she is touching his face in a loving way. So is mine eye enthralled by thy shape. So she's just saying he's beautiful. Bottom was amazed by the beautiful fairy queen's attention, but as she twined her arms around his shaggy neck, he shrugged happily. To say the truth, reason and love keep little company together nowadays, the weaver said and chuckled. His laugh sounded like a donkey brain. So Bottom's basically saying um, that love sometimes doesn't make sense, and he's okay with it because he gets to be with this beautiful queen, fairy queen. Having chased Bottom's fellow workmen to the edge of the forest, Puck was resting against a tree when Oberon found him. How now, mad spirit, the king greeted him. Has my queen awakened? Puck's eyes twinkled. Titania with a monster is in love, he told Oberon of the queen's passion for foolish bottom. So <laughs> he told, uh, Puck told King Oberon that, yep, Titania sure fell in love with someone and it's bottom. Um, who he called a monster. The king laughed. This falls out better than I could devise. So he's saying this came out better than he could have ever dreamed, right? But hast thou yet bathed the, the uh, Athenian's eyes with the love juice? So he's asking if Puck um, was able to put the juice on Demetrius so he would fall in love with Athena. Um, that is finished too, Puck said, which Puck thinks it's finished, right? Because he found Lysander um, wearing the Athenian clothes and so he just assumed Lysander was Demetrius, because he didn't actually see what they looked like. So, no, actually, he didn't do what the king wanted, but he thinks he did. The sound of human voices echoed through the forest. 
It was Hermia, still desperately searching for her missing love, Lysander, but all she had found was the loathsome Demetrius. So Hermia is now trying to look for Lysander. She's like, we, we were just sleeping not far apart, and she woke up and he's gone. So she's searching everywhere for him, and all she could find was Demetrius. Hermia was sure he had done something terrible to Lysander. So remember, Demetrius um, was supposed to marry Hermia. So Hermia thinks that Demetrius did something to Lysander, but he really didn't. Um, oh, and so this whole time, Puck and Oberon, I think, are watching. Stand close, Oberon said to Puck. This is the same uh, Athenian. So he's saying, oh, watch, because this is that guy who I, I, I told you to go put flower juice into. Puck's lip twitched in merriment. Nay, this is the woman, but not the man. Um... So he's saying, well, this is the same girl who was with him, but this is a different guy now. Um, why do you rebuke him that loves you so, D Demetrius was pleading. Um, Where is Lysander, Hermia cried. It can only be that thou hast murdered him, otherwise he would be here. Oh, so Demetrius is saying... Why are you yelling at me when I love you so much? So I guess he does love her. Okay, so we'll put hearts here. Okay, so we will put... So this is his real love. This isn't... Um, this isn't the magical plant love, fake love thing. Um, so he really does care for her, but she still cares for Lysander. And Lysander now cares for Helena... Helena cares for Demetrius, so it's a whole love square going on here, which is insanity. Um, so Hermia is asking um, Demetrius where, where Lysander is, and she's saying that he must have killed him because she can't find him anywhere. I am not guilty of Lysander's blood, De Demetrius protested, so he's saying, no, I didn't kill him. Well, see me no more, whether he be dead or no, Hermia answered. And with that, she fled. So she's saying, okay, well, whether or not you did kill him, just go away, because I don't want to look at you. Um, Demetrius collapsed on a bank, so he just sat down, dramatically. There is no use following her when she speaks so fiercely. He, he leaned back and closed his eyes. So he's sad because Hermia is not speaking very kindly to him, and he really loves her, right? Oberon looked sternly at Puck. Thou hast mistaken quite and laid the love juice on some true love's sight, he said. So now Oberon is not too happy with Puck, and he's saying, you didn't follow my directions. You messed things up. Now, now this person, now, not Helena, now Hermia is, is really sad because Lysander doesn't love her anymore. And Demetrius is really sad because Hermia still loves Lysander. So he's like, Puck, you messed up. And he's not very happy. Um, okay. About the wood go, swifter than the wind, and find Helena of Athens, the king commanded. So he's telling Puck to go away and look in the forest and try and find Helena. As Puck disappeared, Oberon anointed Demetrius's eyes with the enchanted flower juice. So now the king, Oberon, put flower juice into Demetrius's eyes and is telling Puck, go get Helena. So he's going to try and get things right. Okay. Puck quickly returned. Helena is here at hand, followed by the youth mistook by me. Now will two at once woo, now will two at once woo one? Lord, what fools these mortals be. So he's saying now two people are trying to get the same person. So who's trying to get the same person? So I don't, yeah, I don't know. He's basically just saying it's confusing. They're all just crazy in love with the wrong people and mortals are stupid. That's what he's saying. Um, Lysander was indeed close on Helena's heels. So they found Helena and brought her to the clearing and but Lysander was chasing after her. 
Why do you think that I woo and scorn? He in entreated her. So he's Lysander is saying, why, why do you think I'm not actually in love with you and that I'm making fun of you? Because I actually do love you. Um, but he doesn't. Helena, blinded by tears, nearly tripped over Demetrius. So Helena is crying. She's really, she's really hurt by all this. She really thinks that Lysander is making fun of her. Um, so she just tripped over Demetrius because she wasn't seeing very well. The young man awoke. As soon as his eyes focused on Helena, he reached out for her. Oh, goddess, nymph, perfect, divine. So now Demetrius is in love with Helena. And it is the purple magic love. So he loves her back now. Okay, and he doesn't love Romeo anymore. Okay. Helena was thunderstruck, so she's very shocked. Now you both vow and swear and super praise my parts when I am sure you hate me with your hearts. So she's saying, how is it that both of these guys I haven't liked her this whole time and now all of a sudden both of them like her at the same time? She's really, really confused. Um, but they're both under magic and she's obviously not aware of that. Lysander placed his hand upon Helena's arm and looked at his rival. So Lysander is uh, touching Helena's arm and he's staring at Demetrius. Um, Demetrius, with all good will and Hermia's love, I yield you up my part. My heart now belongs to Helena. So he's saying he is now in love with Helena, not Hermia. Demetrius scrambled to his feet and took Helena's other arm. So now each of the guys is holding one of Helena's arms. Um, Lysander, keep thy Hermia. If ever I loved her, all that love is gone. So he's saying, Demetrius is saying, Lysander, just just keep Hermia, okay? I just want Helena now. Lysander's voice drew Hermia into the clearing. She watched the scene um, with mounting disbelief. Oh no, so Hermia just showed up and she's really upset and shocked. Um, Lysander, you speak not as you think. It cannot be. So she's saying this to, to Lysander, right? She's like, you just left me a minute ago. What do you mean you're in love with Helena? This doesn't make any sense. She turned to Helena. You thief of love. What have you come by night and stolen my love's heart from him? So now she's mad at Helena. She's saying, how dare you? We were about to be married and what, what have you done? Just come and stolen my, my love's heart? Obviously not literally, but um, metaphorically. Ah, so now I see, Helena cried, you are one of this, you are one of this confederacy. Will you ruin our friendship to join with men in scorning your dear friend? So now Helena thinks that all three of them are playing a joke on her. Um, and she's saying, why are all of you making fun of me like this? It's not fair. You're, and she, she's telling Hermia that she's not being a, a real friend to her, right? Hermia saw how Helena's willowy figure complimented Lysander's tall, lean form. So now Hermia is seeing that how they look, they look good together, right? Um, which, you know, it's not true. Anyone can date anyone, basically. But she thinks she's just getting really jealous and sad now and seeing how well they look together as a couple um, and is getting really jealous. Are you grown so high in his esteem because I am so dwarfish and so low? So she's saying because they're both tall, that's why he, he loves her now? Because Hermia is, I guess, short? Um, she wailed, dropping to her knees. I am not yet so low, but that my nails can reach into thine eyes. Helena fled into the woods. So Hermia is saying, I'm not too short. I could still reach your eyes. So she's basically saying, watch out, because I'm really, really mad at you. Puck let out a, a hearty laugh. They're jangling, I esteem a sport. So Puck is just loving all this drama, and he thinks it's really fun. As their own quarrels deepened, Lysander and Demetrius drew their swords. Uh-oh. So Lysander and Demetrius are about to duel. How much is left? Okay. Um... 
Okay, so I think we will stop here, and we will, the last, the last, the next video, I think will be the last. Um, so yes, we're going to stop here. See you guys in the next episode.